Hi, Steve. Hi. I'm black and Filipino, and my husband is white, and he's the whitest white guy you'll ever meet. He keeps a baseball. Congratulations. <laughs> he keeps a baseball. Once you go Can white, I it always feels right. <laughs> let's just, let's start a new slogan. It is right, credit and all. He keeps the baseball cap in his back pocket. He keeps the baseball cap Always, okay. and he loves his country. He loves his Garth Brooks. Oh. He loves George Strait and Aruba McIntyre. He's always trying to get me to listen to country music, but I can't. I can't get into it for two reasons. One, the lyrics are too slow, depressing. Always somebody died, dog died, mama died, dad died. <laughs> and the beat, I can't twerk. I can't drop it down low and bring it back up. So my question to you is, why do white people love country music so much? I don't know, because I love country <laughs> music, too. See, I like country music. You, I do. I like it because I like the words. I like the lyrics. They're, they're lyrically correct songs. I like that about country music. You say it's too slow, but hell, what, you know, sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> you know, learn yourself something, you know. Help the stuff be true, you know. All my exes live in Texas. In Texas. <laughs> and for me, that's true. But one of them do live in Texas. So that song is just, take me home to West Virginia, to a place that I belong. I'm from West Virginia. So bam, I love the music. I can't. See, so if you was married to me, you'd have the same damn problem. <laughs> That ain't, that ain't a bad problem to have. He treat, treats you like a queen, don't he? Get your ass some draw it straight and <laughs> get on out there and learn how to two-step. <laughs> I do all that.